This is Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 7. The objective, solve word problems involving the volume of rectangular prisms with whole number edge lengths. There are multiple standards with this lesson. This is Problem 1 from Homework. Wren's first display box is 6 inches long, 9 inches wide, and 4 inches high. What is the volume of the display box? Explain your work using a diagram. The first thing we need to know is what is the formula for volume. Well, we know the formula for volume is length times width times height. So let's go back to the question. It says the display box is 6 inches long. So we need to label our box 6 inches for our length. And this piece right here is our length. So we're going to write down 6 inches. Now let's look above again. We have 9 inches wide. Another word for width is wide. Okay, so this is our width right here, and we're going to label that 9 inches. Okay, then we're going to put 9 inches under our width. The next part, it says it's 4 inches high. Our high means height, so it's going to be about like right here, about 4 inches high. And we're going to put 4 inches under our height. Now it's time for us to multiply our length times our width times our height. Let's start with the length and the width. 6 times 9 is 54 times 4, which equals 216 inches cubed. We cannot forget to write cubed because we're dealing with a prism. Here's another example that might help you. Ren wants to put her artwork into two large display boxes. She knows they all need a volume of 40 cubic inches, but she wants them to be different. What are two ways Ren can make these boxes? Well, the first thing we need to know is that how much is the volume? The volume is 40 cubic inches. So that means we have to have three dimensions that equal 40. So we need to have a length, a width, and a height that all equal 40 inches. So if we start, we can have our length first. Maybe our length could be 10 inches. Our width could possibly be 2 inches. And our height could be about 2 inches as well. Let's see if that multiplies to 40. Our length is 10 times our width of 2 times our height of 2. 10 times 2 is 20 times 2 equals 40 cubic inches. So let's try another example of that in the box next to it. Now let's think of three measurements for a length, a width, and a height that would equal the value of 40 cubic inches. Let's try our length as 5 inches. Our width could be, let's say, 4 inches. And our height could be about 2 inches. Let's see if that works. Our length, we said, was 5 inches. Our width is 4 inches. And our height is 2 inches. 5 times 4 is 20. Times 2 equals 40 cubic inches. There it goes. So you can see two different ways in order to find a volume of 40 cubic inches.